dry, I take the road when the water's high, I take a boat. Paradise with fishing poles, a paradise and dominoes, a piece of land a man can find, peace of mind in a patch of pines, just inside that Texas line, living on Louisiana time on Tamarine on the tail of a Labrador We gonna light the fire Catch a buzz Talking trash Just because No girlfriends to bother us It's the He-Man Woman Haters Club on Edbear Island Down in Dixie Jambalaya And beer and whiskey City folk They don't go Cause they don't know How to play Go, go Yeah, that's for sure I think that's appropriate to nurse the band y'all from San Antonio, Texas, Mr. Steven Marcus on the guitar. From College Station, Texas, we went to high school together. He plays with the Cody Johnson band, Mr. Jody Bartula, y'all. He just got done selling out the, the uh, Reliance Stadium down in Houston. Golly. Miss from Austin, Texas, Mr. Steven Bueller on the bass guitar. The backbone of the band keeping us all in time from Fort Worth, Texas, Mr. Logan Bowers.
From the Josh Abbott Band, my old college roommate, we've done a lot of damn shows together. On the banjo, Mr. Austin Davis from Houston, Texas. And last but definitely not least, from Gonzales, Texas and Stephenville, Texas, Josh Serrato on the guitar, y'all. Let's get with it. So I have to tell y'all about this guitar. Um, this guitar was built by my good friend, Dusty Gregg. He owns a, a guitar company called Gregg Guitars and he typically, buy, uh, he typically makes electric guitars and amps. And uh, when we decided to do this show, um, I asked him if he'd build me a, a, a guitar for the show um, and with the red bandana honoring Kent. And, uh, and this is actually his idea, the, the red bandana headstock. <clears throat> and um, <laughs> he said, how much time do I have? I said, you have six months. This is the second guitar he's ever built. And um, it's an absolute beautiful guitar. He worked his ass off on it. And uh, this is the first show it's ever been played on. And I plan on playing this thing a lot throughout the years. With, uh, so hats off to Dusty. He's a, he's a good guy. And uh, this guitar means, uh, means a lot to me. You know? uh, this song, uh, we're doing a lot of songs tonight that weren't on the, the previous live record uh, because we did not want to give you all the same show. So we're doing some more deeper cut stuff and doing a lot of songs that Kent always thought was good. Uh, was good songs of mine, which, which weren't necessarily the most popular. So this is one of my favorites. I wrote this song with my dear friend uh, from Lubbock. His name's Brandon Adams. This song is called Remedy. Chest, I miss you. Oh, God, I miss you. 
Thank you guys, man. Um, cheers, everybody. Thank y'all for coming out. Cheers to Team Street. I just got back from Mexico, and on the trip, I played guitar for about 14 or 15 couples, and uh, they told me I talked too much during my shows, so. so I'm just going to try my best to shut up and play songs, but it's also, this is, this is songwriter capital right here. San Marcos, Texas, Cheatham Street Warehouse. So I'm gonna play, I'll tell you a little bit about the songs. This is a song I wrote in the back of the bus in Kansas City, Missouri. And um, this has kind of been the, um, this is my theme song on the record. And the uh, uh, song means a lot to me. It's called Drunk Again. Phone rings, I don't wanna talk to you. Don't you know that I'm trying my best To keep it between the lines I never thought it would hurt so bad I never knew it would kick my ass I called you a bitch one time I wish I never had And if the river was a highway We're going to another town Checks 
that bounce You moved out on a house that's foreclosed now And I keep wondering how I keep wondering why When I'm getting drunk again I get three sheets to the wind I write two sheets full of hymns I don't understand And all my friends They moved on and they're having kids they all asked how I live like this So now I'm wondering Why I'm getting drunk again And I remember it was just a game But back in our younger days We held on to a hurricane And then I drowned With your water I'm Gasoline mixed in a way I've never seen. I never thought I could be so mean as I am now. I guess I'm gonna get drunk again. I get three sheets to the wind, I write two sheets full of hymns. I don't understand. And all my friends, they moved on and they're having kids. They all ask how I live like this So now I'm wondering Why I'm getting drunk again I'm gonna get drunk again Get three sheets to the wind Write two sheets full of hymns I don't understand And all my friends They moved on and they're having kids They all ask how I live like this So now I'm wondering If I'm getting drunk again Get three sheets to the wind and Write two sheets full of hymns I don't understand and Got a monkey on his back Could I bomb a cigarette He done smoked my last pack Put up the big top Throw down the sawdust We don't open till tomorrow So step right up We got beer for the beady lady And the Siamese twins are in the opium And the trapeze guys are all high on cocaine That they buy from a guy that used to drive the train We got water for the elephant Everybody knows the greatest party on earth Here's a circus down on Ringling Road Well, the tattooed man is making out a snake 
big lady just to piss off the human cannonball that she been dating. The clown got wasted, they stole in his shoe. Had a bear on a bike with a bottle of booze. The tightrope walker is too damn high. But welcome to a freak show Friday night. We got song in Lubbock after we, we started out at a place called the Blue Light up in Lubbock, Texas. And, yeah. and I wrote this song after a long night of drinking up there. And I woke up the next morning and I didn't even realize I'd written it and it was on my phone. And um, I, uh, I was very disappointed in myself. <laughs> this song, but people asked for it at a lot of shows. We figured we'd put on the, this live album. The song's called Take Me Away. If you take me away from here Then I swear I'll never bother you again And if you got a cigarette Then light me up I'll burn one down Did you t- 
take me away from here I will make a promise I will never keep And if you buy me one more shot Then I just might find the urge to get some sleep guys doing just a killer job we had the bar to ourselves last night which um, started out really really awesome and uh it ended up it ended awesome i guess but didn't feel awesome this morning but we rehearsed for about i don't know six or seven hours yesterday we've never we've never done this before uh we played these a lot of these songs we haven't played in our set in a long time so it was kind of a, a refresher for everybody but uh, big thanks to Austin and Jody for showing up a day early and coming out and uh, putting the show on and <clears throat> and being total pros and also you know my guys of course who are my rock in this whole thing. These guys are the greatest musicians I could ever ask to travel with, and I wish we could steal Jody from Cody and I wish we could steal Austin from Josh. Just do this every night and be awesome. This is one of my favorite songs I've ever written, and I, I we never play it. I think we should bring this one back, but. Uh, this song is called Let's Go. Hey, pretty mama, now you're looking good. What you think about me? I got a penny in my pocket in an old boxwood, and the songs play for free. Sun, it rises over your heart, sets underneath my soul. There's a full moon out on the boulevard. Come on, baby, let's go. Take my heart, take my hand, take them with a guarantee. Cause you can't take anything you want as long as you're with me. I will love you forever, and as long as we're together, more than you'll ever know. No, it ain't that much, but it's all I got. Come on, baby, let's go.
stall Huddled in one of the machines And I curse the luck of a teddy bear And I pray for a wedding ring I'll take my heart, take my hand Take it with the guarantee You can't take anything you want As long as you're with me I will love you forever And as long as we're together More than you'll ever know No, it ain't that much but a solid songs um a lot of times you have these little voices in the back of your head and uh and a lot of times it's kent and it's it's never i never get this voice in my head that says good job it's always this voice that's like don't do that <laughs> and um if kent was alive today uh he would love he would have liked this song i don't know if he loved it but he probably would have had some critiques to be honest with you but he would have definitely liked this song um this is one of my favorites on the new album. It's called She Loves Horses. Lightning, wind, sunshine, fire, and rain And this is gone And I don't know What it is about her heart that speaks to mine it Makes me think another place, another time We'd have it all But she loves horses Running wild, it's where her heart is She let me hold on for a while I won't try to change her No way to tame her She loves horses And I can see her
Thank you all. This is us. Song goes out to my parents. And I guess you've always known me a little better than the rest. We've seen love at its worst We've seen love at its best We have said some things we come to regret It's funny looking back We sure put it to the test But that first night when we first met To our first fight to make up sex Highs to lowest lows From I'm in love to I don't know From giving up to one last try Asking you to be my wife And never needing you so much From what it is to what it was This is us if They say that love is easy They've never really tried Yeah, we might disagree, but you're always on my side Maybe that's the way we are both designed Cause my hand 
just fits in yours And your hand just fits in mine But that first night when we first met To our first fight to make up sex From highest highs to lowest lows When I'm in love to I don't know Our first fight to make up sex From highest highs to lowest lows From I'm in love to I don't know From giving up to one last try Asking you to be my wife To never needing you so much From what it is to what it was This is us This is us Guess you'll always know me a little better than the rest. Thank y'all. This song's about a girl named Melissa. And it's called Sweet Amy. Cause there's already a sweet Melissa, and I can't beat that because that's a great song. Installment plans. She's standing in the kitchen in her morning clothes. She's got a sink full of dishes and a sink full of soap. Oh, sweet Amy, come back to bed. You just need some time to lay your head. You need some time to lay. in a sling Oh sweet Amy come back inside Cause I can't tell if you're crying I can't tell if she's crying Oh sweet Amy I'm slowly fading
This is an angry song. Um, wrote the song uh, with a buddy of mine, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. His name is Corey Kent White. And I've written, a, I've written a handful of songs to him. He's a really talented young kid. Um, it was funny. I, the first time I wrote with them, uh, the publisher at the time, her name's Alicia Pruitt, and she, she hooks me up with some songwriters I'd never heard of before just to try to help me get better at my craft. And she told me this kid was 20, 21 years old, and, and I remember myself at 21 years old, and I was going to be really annoyed with, if, with him if he was anything like me at 21. And uh, so I showed up to the ride, and I just kind of had my, I was just, it was my last ride of the week, and I was just kind of out of it. I'm going to show up this this guy's house, and he's just, he's going to want to write about trucks and tailgates and all this bullshit. And uh, he was actually the biggest Bob Wills fan I've ever met in my life. And, and he, he's way better songwriter than me. And I just, uh, we've written together about three or four times, and uh, this, is, this is our biggest song that we've written together to this date. But he also wrote a song with him called Miss You on the, on the record, which I'm a big fan of. But this song's called Hit You Where It Hurts. Trusting, never even doubted Looking back now, figuring out I was the last one to know in the whole damn town I can't believe I was so naive about it And every night now, and every dream I'm gonna make sure that you see Exactly what you did to me There's a handful of songs that, that I, I'm super proud of, and when I went through back to my catalog from Dangerous Man, I listened to every record uh, up to uh, Aber Island, and I remember listening to this song called Drowning, and I was, um, man, I'm, if I could tap myself on the back, pat myself on the back, that's one of my fa probably top five favorite songs I've ever written. Uh, there's two new songs that I've written that will be my favorite for about nine months, and then they'll either stay there or, or go away, but... 
uh, this song right here is was my is my favorite and uh, Austin's favorite song. He's like, I'll, I'll play this show with you as long as we play this song. All right, let's do it. Texas. I mean, I've never met him. I love Austin Davis, man. 
when we when you put a song like this on a record, you don't expect anybody to really listen to it. You kind of do. Like I, I, one of my favorite quotes from Jack Ingram, he says, "I play songs for you, and I also play songs for me." And and so on records, you know, half of the songs are for you and me, which I enjoy every song I've ever recorded. But some of them are just for me, and I could give a sh I could give a shit if anybody likes them or not. Honestly, I just it's something that I have to get out. It's something that has happened since seventh grade of writing songs. It's just part of being a songwriter. You have to have this song on the album, whether and you could care less if if one person likes it or, or a lot of people like it. And this this song was that song because it was the last song I got to write with Kent. Uh, not only that, but also it also really the song hit home pretty hard for me. And I was on I remember I got on Spotify like eight eight or nine months ago, and I, I finally logged in and was checking it out. And and this song was our third or fourth most listened to song ever. And I was shocked because it was, was a song that was not supposed to do. It was the song was on there just for me and Kent. Like that was our it was our song that we wrote together. And I didn't expect anybody to really care for it. And and we get to play this song every night. Um, and it, we have not rehearsed this song, by the way. So this could be a train wreck. Um, but um, but it blew my mind that this was our fourth most listened to song ever. Uh, because songs like that, the, the mean, it's very rare that you write a song that means the absolute world to you, and you, and you write it, and then people, people also, it means the world to them. So um, this song is called Still Think About You. Yeah. God bless Kent Finley. Sorry that 
Thank you, guys. talking about our 806 song we're gonna do this song as many times as it takes to get it done right because this is this song is the entire reason we did this record um so i really don't if you guys want to this might take a while hopefully we'll nail it the first time but we're gonna do it as many times as it takes um there's a we do like i said we do this lubbock songwriting retreat and there's a lot of special songs that songs that come out of the songwriting retreat and me and and me and uh, me and Charlie Stout were we were at the bar near Larry Joe's place, and we were writing this song, and <clears throat> the song sucked, and uh, it was awful. And we both were just having a miserable time because I thought it sucked, but I didn't want him to know that I thought it sucked, and he thought it sucked, but he didn't want me to know that it sucked. And finally, I was like, "This sucks," and he was like, "I totally agree, this sucks." <laughs> and um, and so. We started talking about songwriting, and of course, we talked a lot about Kent. And uh, come on, come up here, Charlie. Um, uh, take his chair. Um, and so we're sitting there, and, and like I said, Charlie was with Kent a lot in his, his last years, and and so we got to start about Ch Kent. And I was like, we need to write a song that Kent would love. And I said, what does Kent love? And Charlie goes, well, Kent loved chili. <laughs> and Kent was a huge advocate 
He'd always say, if you put beans in your chili, you don't know beans about making chili. And this is my protest song. This is as political as I will ever get on stage. And that is my promise to you. And like I said, we're going to do this song as many times as it takes. Uh, because the words are really complicated for me. Oh, yeah. But we're going to try. So we'll see what happens. Let me make sure I'm in tune real quick. This song is called Don't Put No Beans in My Chili. Oh, yeah. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> If anybody wants to argue with you about beans belonging in chili, it's like, it's okay. Now, I like chili beans. Chili beans is great. There's nothing wrong with chili beans. But it's not possible to have chili with beans in it. It's like, it, it's, it's, it can't exist. Like, it doesn't, if it has beans in it, it's not called chili. It's called chili beans. I like chili beans. What you've made, Kent used to say, you haven't made chili, you've made stew. <laughs> Kent would fight you about this. Oh, no, he was very serious about his chili. No, I've never seen him throw people out of the bar. His son Sterling, his son Sterling is here, and, and every, every thing, was it, uh, where's Sterling at tonight? Raise your hand if you're... Uh, um, if you're Sterling, raise your hand. <laughs> oh, hey, Sterling. Oh, there's a pole. But was it Thanksgiving or Christmas? Y'all would do chili cook-off every Christmas? Thanksgiving? And um, y'all still do? I would love to be invited to that someday. I'd bring a shitload of beans. <laughs> so this is called the, the chili song. So let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Fire hot, and you get you a big old pot. Fill it up with a little bit of water and a bottle of beer. A chili powder, onion, garlic, and tomato, ground beef, black pepper, and a green jalapeno. A little bit of cumin, and one more bottle of beer. But don't you put no beans in my chili. Don't you put no beans in my chili If you put beans in my chili You don't know beans about making chili It's meant to be fun, folks Well, you bring it to a simmer Grab a wooden spoon Take a little taste for you What you gotta do If it ain't just right just yet Buddy, have no fear and You can add a pinch of salt If it feels a little light Cayenne pepper If it needs more bite If it seems too thick Add one more bottle of beer Don't you put no beans in my chili Don't you put no beans in my chili If you put me Chili. You don't know beans about making chili Now you can eat it with a spoon or a stack of saltines Add in some bacon bits, a little shredded cheese A splash of Tabasco, a dash of sour cream But it ain't Texas chili If you make it with beans, don't put no beans in my chili Don't you put no beans in my chili If you put beans in my chili You don't know beans about making chili don't put no beans in my chili Don't put no beans in my chili If you put beans in my chili You don't know beans about making Texas chili Cheers, everybody. Charlie Stout, y'all. So when I moved from uh, Lubbock, Texas, I moved to uh, a small town outside of Abilene. My whole band moved to San Marcos, which I couch surfed here for a while, but uh, I moved to a small town. My, my mother's father's uh, uh, birthplace was Eastland, Texas, and 
And I moved to the farm out there and out of necessity, to be honest with you, I, I couldn't afford to live anywhere else. And it, uh, I'd stay in the trailer house out there and, and, uh, and we, what we would do on the weekends, we'd come home on Sunday with the band and, and we'd sit there and we'd pull all the furniture out of the living room and we'd put it on the porch and we'd replace it all with band equipment and we'd rehearse all the songs we had messed up the night before. And uh, on this one night, I remember forget it was right before Rose Queen, we started going in for Rose Queen and it was during Misunderstood Era. And, and we honestly, I mean, we'd been on the road for three or four years and you know, I'd graduated college um, and I was kind of sitting back going, how much longer can I eat Vienna sausages and cheese for dinner? Um, old boss of mine, uh, he said, <laughs> he, he brought Vienna, Vienna sausage and cheese for dinner one time uh, for, for lunch on this work break. And um, he, goes, he goes, you want some? And I said, no, I'm going to pass lunch. Today, I'm not a big Vienna sausage guy. And he goes, well, you've never been hungry then. And I ate a lot of Vienna sausage in my first years in the music business. I can tell you that much. His name is, his name is Carl. Uh, I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. Mr. Carr. Gerald Carr, my neighbor, he told me that. My parents' neighbor. He's a good guy. Um, so anyways, one night, I mean, we're, we're down the dumps, man. Austin, Austin, was, Austin had just left and joined Josh. He was with us for a while and, and went back. Josh was originally with Josh Abbott. Or Austin was originally with Josh Abbott. And he, he left and what, joined Josh Abbott. And then... Uh, well, I'm sorry. I'm saying this was wrong. He was originally with Josh, left Josh, joined us for a little while, and then circumstances happened. He went back to Josh, and then we're waiting for that, that comeback. Yeah, we're waiting for it. Um, and, jo and Austin had just left. Steve was just, just joined the band. Uh, we found Steve on Craigslist in, in San Marcos. And that's the truth. We were, we were doing auditions. We found him on Craigslist, and... Uh, Man, you get some great deals on Craigslist, you know? <laughs> um, so we're sitting there one night, and, like, you know, everybody's just kind of down the dumps because we've been touring for three or four years, and just nothing's happening. No one cares about the songs or what we're doing. And, um, and, and, and we were all sitting around the Monopoly's table, and we were playing Monopoly. And we were just, every time you went to jail, you had to take a shot. Every time you passed go, you had to take a shot. And every time, you, every time you got out of jail, everyone had to take a celebratory and get out of jail shot and uh, my drummer at the time his name is Jay Saldana and I wish he was here um, but he got a phone call from his, ex, his now ex-girlfriend but then at the time was girlfriend and he he forgot to call her like and as a being a musician on the road if you do not call your girlfriend after a night you will not have a girlfriend the next day uh, there's uh, it just not does not exist and um, so he runs off in this caliche pit and you could hear it like 40 yards away, and you could hear his apologies was like echoing off the walls. Like, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. No, we lost track of time. Will's being a real asshole today, and blah, blah. Just totally throw me under the bus. You know? And he comes back like 45 minutes later, and he's just shaking his head, and he asks for a cigarette. We give him a cigarette, we light it, and it was the first breath of smoke. And I swear to God, he goes, he goes, man, she likes the Beatles, and I like the Stones, and we ain't ever going to get along. And I just, I looked up at God and I was like, thank you. And uh, I, I can take it from here. This is all the only sign I need. She likes the Beatles and I like the Stones. She likes romantic movies. I like Indiana Jones. Yeah, she goes to church and I stay at home. Oh, she likes the Beatles and I like the Stones. We met by the river in the mid-morning light She swears it was late afternoon, the San Marcos River She fell in love by the time it was night But I didn't give in till June And not long after, we said I do And she had the nerve to move in well, she painted the walls and she pinned up my dog and she kicked out of all of my friends. Hey! She likes the Beatles and I like the Stones. She likes romantic movies. I like Indiana Jones. Yeah, she goes to church and I stay at home. Oh, she likes the Beatles and I like the Stones. Let me hear some banjo now. Burn through 
through swamps And she says that I need to quit Cause if I die from cancer in 25 years And she'll have to pay off the debt But no, she don't think I'm funny She don't laugh at my jokes I could care less about all her shoes Well, my parents both hate her But it evens out Cause her parents, they both hate me Hey, thank you, Team Street Warehouse, man. Appreciate it. She brings me coffee when I'm working late. She lifts me up when I'm low. She understands when I'm carrying weight that I just have to hold up along. Stubborn and strong And I always know where she stands So it never bugs me And she's always wrong As long as she along with her hand in my hand She likes the Beatles And I like the Stones She likes romantic movies I like Indiana Jones And she goes to church All right, Cheetah Street Warehouse, we've been singing all night. It's your turn now. Y'all let me hear you now. She likes the Beatles, and I like the Stones. She likes romantic movies. I like Indiana Jones, yeah. She goes to church, and I stay at home. Oh, she likes the Beatles, and I like the Stones. Oh, she likes the Beatles, and I like the Stones.